so already we discussed some problems in practice set 6.2 okay uh, sorry uh, 5.3 some problems we discuss up to third problem we discuss now fourth problem see here to uh, fourth problem two digit numbers of form using a digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 so these are the five digits and you want to form you select any two digits and you want to form the numbers without repetition of the digits the sample spaces okay so first we will write the sample space here so sample space s is equal to you have to take any two digit from this and you have to make the two digit number okay two digit number so how you will write first we will start from one zero because zero one please understand zero one is not a two digit number okay so we cannot write zero one so start from one zero one zero then one one so that is also one one is also a two digit number sorry not repetition means one two it will come one two then one three okay i hope you are understanding one one is also two digit number but they given without repetition of the digits so we cannot repeat the digits okay so this is uh, one three then next number will come one one two one three then next number will come one four then one five okay so one one five then next number will come two zero two zero next digit two one two two is not possible because no repetition two three then two four like this you have to make the number two five okay next three zero three zero three one three two three three is not possible three four okay so then again three five next four zero four one four two four three four four is not possible four five next five zero five one five two five three okay five four okay so these are the numbers five five is again not possible so how many numbers are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, n of s is how much? n of s is equal to 25. So, that is nothing but number in sample points. Okay. So, sample space is this one. This total is the sample space and n of s is 25. Next, we will discuss the condition here. They are given the condition for event A. So, we will write event A here. Okay, so event A condition we will write condition is what the number formed is even the number formed is even so you have to select any number from this which is even so even is 10 is there even so 10 is even 12 is even 13 is not even 14 is even then again 20 is even 23 24 is even then 30 is even 32 is even 34 is even okay next 35 is not even 35 is not even, 40 is even, 40 is even, 42, 45 is not even, 50 is even, then 52, then 54. Okay, I hope you understood these are the even numbers. Okay, so these are the even numbers. How many even numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, n of a is equal to how much? So, you have to write the n of a, n of a is 13. I hope you are understanding. Okay. Next, B event. The number formed is divisible by 3. So, number form is divisible by 3. So, uh, B event you have to write or B sample space you have to write B event. We will write here which is multiple, multiple of 3 or divisible by 3. So, 12 is divisible by 3. 10 is not divisible by 3. So, 12 is divisible by 3. Then 13, 14, 15 is divisible by 3, okay. Then 20, 21 is divisible by 3, okay. 23, 24 is divisible by 3, okay. Next 25, 30 is divisible by 3. 
नेक्स्ट थर्टी टू थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू इज डिविजल बाय थ्री ओके फोर्टी फाइव इज ऑल्सो डिविजल बाय थ्री ओके फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी वन इज डिविजल बाय थ्री ओके फिफ्टी टू इज नॉट फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फोर इज ऑल्सो डिविजल बाय थ्री ओके सो दीज आर द नंबर्स विच आर डिविजल बाय थ्री सो एन ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच एन ऑफ बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो नाइन इज द एन ऑफ बी so condition c so you have to write the c sample space or even the number formed is greater than 50 so number formed is greater than 50 so which are the numbers greater than 50 not 50 more than 50 you have to write more than 50 which are the numbers more than 50 51 52 53 and 54 so 51 52 53 and 54 so these are the numbers which are formed more than 50 so therefore n of c is how much n of c is 4 okay i hope you understood this is the problem that is the fourth problem so next problem we will discuss that is the fifth one from three men three men and two women environment committee of two persons so environment committee of two persons is to be formed so you have to select there are three men are there and two women are there so you have to select the two persons committee two persons committee you want to form okay so first we will write the sample space here so sample space s is equal to we will write first initially we will write n1 men 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 m1 m2 and m3 these are the men okay so we will write these are the men similarly women we will write w1 w2 and w Uh, w two only because two women are there, so these are the women. Okay, now we will write the sample space S. Yes. So sample space S, yes. we want to form the two persons committee here. Two persons committee here. Please do uh, don't if such type of committee formation is there, you don't uh, misunderstand that M one and W one. M one W one is equal to W1 M1. Okay, please understand. This is the concept you should remember. M1 W1 is equal to W1 M1. Okay, so like this, both are equal. So you have to write only one time here. Okay, only one time. Don't write M1 W1 separately and W1 M1 separately. Okay, so this is only one same only. That's why you, we should write only one time. Okay, so see here. M1 W1 M1 W1 Similarly, M1 W or uh, we'll write okay. M1 W2 okay. M1 W2. Next, M2 W1. M2 W1. So we want to forming the committee here. M2 W2. M2 W2. Two members committee we are forming. Similarly, next one M3 W1. M3 W1. Next. M3 W2, M3 W2. We cannot write W2 M3 again. Okay, so M3 W2 and W2 M3 both are same. Okay, over. Next, we have to form the men's committee also. You can form M1 M2, M1 M2. Similarly, M2 M3, M2 M3. Then again, similarly, M3 uh, M3 M1 or M1 M3. M1, M1, M3. We are not written M1, M3. Okay. Next, G1, uh, W1 and W2 also committee we can form W1 and W2. Okay. So these are the committee one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope you understood how to form the committee. So therefore, n of s is equal to how much? Ten. So now we will apply the conditions here. They are given the different conditions. So first condition, y n a is equal to event. We will write a event. There must be at least one woman member. At least means minimum. Minimum one woman should be present. Means maximum it may be two women, but one woman should be present. One woman should be present. So this one is the M1 W1 because one woman is present. M1 W2, then M2 W1, then M2 W2. Then M3 W1, then M3 W2, then 
ammonium to here there is no men here there is no men here there is no men here there is two men but one woman is present so minimum two men we required so at least at least they told that is nothing but minimum okay minimum that's why the maximum two men also possible okay so how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so n of a is equal to 7. i hope you understood n of uh, a is equal to 7 it is okay next we will consider one man one woman committee to be formed one man one woman so one man one woman so committee is n of b uh, sorry b event we have to write so one man one woman so one man one woman m1 w1 okay next m m1 w2 okay m2 w1 okay next m2 w2 okay next m3 w1 because one man one woman okay next m3 w2 here there is a two man is there two man two man and two woman okay so only one man and one woman we required so this is the concept so n of b is equal to how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so 6 is the answer next condition for c that is the c event you have to write so c is equal to there should not be a woman member there should not be a woman member means there should not be a woman member here so here there is a woman member here also woman here also woman 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 so there here there is no woman so we can write m1 m2 similarly m2 m3 there is no woman here m2 m3 then m1 m3 also there is no woman okay so m1 m3 so therefore only this much so here there is a two women are there okay so n of c is equal to how much n of c is equal to 3 i hope you understood n of c is equal to 3 next problem we'll discuss that is the sixth one that is the last problem we'll discuss one coin and one die are thrown simultaneously one coin and one die thrown simultaneously so you should write the uh this one what first coin coin if you thrown you will get what if you get what coin if you thrown you will get head and tail okay so this is the sample space for one coin and one die if you thrown die if you thrown what you will get die if you thrown what you will get the sample space 1 2 3 Four, five, six. You will get. Okay, but they told what one coin and one die are thrown simultaneously. Simultaneously means at a time they thrown the coin and die. So we want to write the sample space here. So sample space for one coin and one die. So one coin head, head one it will come, head or one. Okay, next it may come head or two. head and 2 okay next head and 3 like that it may come head and 3 next head and 4 head and 5 so head and 6 okay so like this it will come okay over next tail next tail tail and 1 may come tail and 2 may come tail and 3 may come tail and 4 tail and 5 and tail and 6 okay like this it may come uh, so n of s is equal to how much this is the possibilities possibility may come that is the n of s is equal to how much so these are the 6 and these are the 6 so n of s is equal to 12 so this is the answer n of s is equal to 12 now we should apply the condition for a event a condition we should apply to get head and an odd number a head should get and odd number should get so head and odd number so head and odd number this is the head and this is the odd number okay so this may come so head and 1 okay next head is there but 2 is there so they ask the odd number it is a even number leave it this one will come that is the head and 3 next head and 4 is the odd number this is the even number will come so head and 5 okay so these are the numbers will come head initially it should get head 
and an odd number so head and odd number these are the numbers so n of a is equal to how much n of a is equal to 1 2 3 so 3 is the numbers i hope you understood next b set b we have to write that is the event b to get a head or tail and an even number head or tail and an even number so head or tail it may be head but it should be even number it should be even number it may be first condition is what it may be head or tail it may be head or tail but second number should be even number second number should be even number okay so head and head and two then next head and four will come because odd number this head and three is the odd number three is the odd number so leave it head and four will come next head and six will come similarly the uh, here tail and two will come tail and four will come and tail and six will come okay i hope you understood so total numbers are n of b is equal to how much n of b one two three four five six so six is the answer next c that is the event c you have to write number on the upper face is greater than seven and tail on the coin tail on the coin so see here what they told condition for c is number on the upper face is greater than seven number on the upper face is greater than seven it's not possible because maximum is six so greater number upper face is greater than seven and tail on the coin tail on the coin so there is no greater than six number is not possible so that's why event c is that is the null set it is null set because empty set it is there is no any event because greater than six only six is possible greater uh, they ask the seven greater than seven but greater than seven is not possible so that is it's empty set or null set it is so n of c is equal to how much n of c is equal to zero okay i hope you understood okay so this is the concept these are the practice set related to that uh, practice set 5.3 it is okay next we will discuss the concept related to probability of an event okay so some concept we will discuss probability of an event so already i given the probability concept or probability definition i given probability means it is nothing but measure of measure of what measure of possibilities measure of possibilities so only possibilities okay measure of possibility it will measure what is the possibility of that particular event or particular experiment okay so they given the probability definition in mathematical language when possibility of an expected event is expressed in number expressed in number it is called the probability when the possibility whatever possibility is there of a particular experiment particular experiment whatever possibility is there that we will express it in number that we will express it in number then it is called the probability then it is called the probability okay the possibility of an expected event or expected experiment we will express it in number then it is called the probability or you can uh, say the probability is nothing but measure of possibilities of an given experiment so that is also the definition of probability i hope you understood for example sample space is there head and tail is there what is the probability of getting head so what is the probability of getting head only probability is 50 percent because when you toss the coin it may come head or it may come tail so what is the chance of getting head so only 50 percent so this is the probability this is the probability 50 percent it is telling the possibilities in numbers possibility what is the possibility possibility they are telling in numbers so 50 percent or 0 0.5 0 0.5 like that the whatever possibilities are there those possibilities we will tell in numbers that is known as the probability of an event okay i hope you understood so there is for a random experiment if sample space 
yes already we are given a is an expected event already we to, uh, given the concept of event and uh, sample space okay then the probability of a p of a is equal to there is a formula for probability of a p of a is equal to number of sample points in event a that is nothing but n of a already how to calculate that n of a here n of a is we will apply the condition and we will find out the n of a n of a n of b n of c so already we discussed that okay next number of sample points in sample spaces so sample spaces number of sample points in sample spaces is n of a upon n of s so this is the formula for probability probability of event a probability of event a if the probability of event b b p required then it becomes n of b divided by n of s so n of s remains the same only the probability of b b indicates the event then you are find a, finding the probability of event b then n of b divided by n of s it will come okay i hope you understood this is the formula you should remember very easily for example uh, i will write simple example we will take simple example a bag contains four balls so four balls of the same size three of them are white and fourth is black fourth is black we have to pick white ball what is the probability of the event first without condition we have to write the sample space first without condition we should write the sample space so sample space we will write first sample space without condition sample space so there are total how many balls there are four balls so you have to pick only one ball pick pick uh, you uh, we have to pick white ball what is the probability of an event so you have to pick single ball then what is the prob uh, what is the sample space you will get that is the four balls so four balls we can write it as uh, four balls we can write it as simply uh, simply it is a uh, three of them are white so we will write w1 w2 w3 so these are the three white balls then one is the fourth is the black ball so fourth black ball we will write as the b1 okay so this is the sample space sample space is three white ball you can pick any one ball from this you can pick w1 you can pick w2 you can pick w3 you can pick b1 that is indicates what the black ball okay three white balls are there one black ball is there okay so now we'll apply the condition we have to pick white ball we have to pick white ball so what is the condition here n of s is how much here n of s is n of s is uh, how much 4 here n of s is 4 i hope you are understanding possibilities there are four uh, four balls are there in the bucket there are four balls are there here there is a bucket and here there is a four balls are there w1 w2 w3 and b1 that is nothing but black ball okay so four balls are there what is the possibility to picking one ball so you have to pick any one ball here okay possibilities are four are there but you have to pick any one ball so possibilities are the, you can pick w1 ball you can pick w2 we can pick w3 we can pick b1 okay so n of s these are the possibilities that is the four now they are given the condition we have to pick white ball only so the condition we can write n of a event we can write sorry a a is the event we will write event a that is you have to pick white ball only so black ball you have to remove only white ball possibilities are only 3 because there are only 3 balls are there three white balls are there three white balls are there and you are picking only one white ball okay so possibility which are the possibilities w1 w2 and w3 so black balls is not possibility so n of a is how much n of a is equal to 3 i hope you are understanding okay so this is the condition we have to apply for this we have to apply the condition there is no condition for n of s so probability we want to find out the probability of event a is equal to we know the formula of probability number of sample points in event a that is nothing but n of a divided by n of s okay so n of a is how much n of a is 3 divided by n of uh, s is 4 
सो इट बिकम्स इट विल कम थ्री वन जा फोर वन जा फोर जीरो पॉइंट थर्टी मीन्स इट बिकम्स सेवेन एंड सेवेन रिमेनिंग टू फाइव जा सो जीरो पॉइंट सेवेन फाइव सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड प्रोबाबिलिटी प्रोबाबिलिटी विल कम ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू वन और लेस दैन और इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट विल कम दिस प्रोबाबिलिटी विल कम इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन ऑलवेज ऑलवेज प्रोबाबिलिटी विल कम इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन सो दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर ओके सो वाई बिकॉज दिस विल कम एन ऑफ एस इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन एन ऑफ एस इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन एन ऑफ ए और एन ऑफ बी और एन ऑफ सी ओके वट एवर इवेंट दे आर गिवन दैट यू हैव टू टेक द इवेंट बट एन ऑफ एस इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन एन ऑफ ए और एन ऑफ बी और एन ऑफ सी सो सॉल एग्जाम्पल वी विल सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल इयर फाइंड द प्रोबाबिलिटी सो दे आर गिवन द प्रोबाबिलिटी इयर फाइंड द प्रोबाबिलिटी सो सॉल एग्जाम्पल वी विल टेक फाइंड द प्रोबाबिलिटी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वेन वन क्वाइन इज टॉस सो वेन वन क्वाइन इज टॉस गेटिंग हेड और गेटिंग टेक ओके सो फर्स्ट वेन एवर दे गिव सच टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट यू शुड राइट द सैम्पल स्पेस सो वील राइट हियर ओनली सैम्पल स्पेस सो एस और सैम्पल स्पेस ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड सैम्पल स्पेस एस इज इक्वल टू फॉर सिंगल क्वाइन Find the probability of the following when one coin is tossed. When one coin is tossed, that is the sample space. So sample space may be answer possibility. What will come for one coin is tossed? What is the possibility head or tail? Okay, only when uh, when one coin is tossed, the possibilities are head or tail. Okay. So now we will apply the condition. So now we will apply the condition. Event is what. Event A is what getting getting head. Event A, A is this is the condition now getting head. Okay, so we can write A event we can write it as getting head. So getting head means only one is possible that is the head. So therefore n of s is how much here? N of s is equal to two here. So head and tail that is the two. So n of A is how much? N of A, n of A is only one getting head, so only one. So probability we can find out n of uh, n of. So we can say probability of probability of A is equal to or probability of A probability probability of A is equal to you know the formula n of s that is the number of number of sample points. Uh, or number of sample points in a sample space that is n of s i hope you are understanding n of s divided by n of a this is the formula so n of s is how much sorry 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 it is n of a upon n of s it is sorry n of a because n of s is divided by denominator and whatever event is there that is the numerator okay so n of a is how much one it is And n of s is two, so it becomes one upon two. It becomes how much? Zero point five. Okay. Next, we can write getting tail. So getting tail, we can write the event B. B is the getting getting tail. Okay. I hope you are understanding. So n of B will write that is nothing but n of B or event B will write B event is equal to what? Uh, event B getting tail is only t, okay. So therefore, n of B is equal to how much? n of B is equal to only one. So p of B that is the probability of B. Probability of B is what? Probability of B is nothing but n of B is equal to n of p of B. Sorry, probability of B is nothing but p of B is equal to n of B divided by n of Yes. So n of b is how much? n of b is one divided by n of b is n of s is two. So that is nothing but zero point five. I hope you understood. See here, probability of b is also in between zero and one. That is zero point five. And probability of a is also zero point five. That is nothing but probability always comes in between zero and 
वन ओके जीरो एंड वन यू शुड रिमेम्बर दैट कॉन्सेप्ट ओके नेक्स्ट वन सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम यू विल टेक इफ वन डाई इज रोल देन फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इवेंट्स सो वेन वन डाई इज रोल ऑलरेडी वी नो वेन वन डाई इज रोल यू शुड रिमेम्बर यस दैट इज द सैम्पल स्पेस ऑलरेडी वी नो वेन वन डाई इज रोल और थ्रोन सैम्पल स्पेस इज वॉट सैम्पल स्पेस एस इज इक्वल टू यू नो एस इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स दिस इज द सैम्पल स्पेस वेन वन डाई इज रोल वेन वन डाई इज रोल और वन डाई इज थ्रोन ओके सो दिस इज द सैम्पल स्पेस सो एन ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच एन ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू सिक्स ओके आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ वी विल अप्लाई द कंडीशन नाउ वी विल हियर वी विल अप्लाई द कंडीशन दैट इज ए इवेंट ए विल राइट इवेंट ए इज वॉट नंबर ऑन द अपर फेस इज प्राइम नंबर ऑन द अपर फेस इज प्राइम सो यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम दिस प्राइम नंबर विच आर द प्राइम नंबर सर यार टू टू इज द प्राइम नंबर थ्री इज द प्राइम नंबर एंड फाइव इज द प्राइम नंबर सो एन ऑफ ए इज हाउ मच एन ऑफ ए इज नथिंग बट नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल पॉइंट ऑफ इवेंट ए दैट इज नथिंग बट थ्री इयर सो देर फोर प्रोबाबिलिटी ऑफ ए प्रोबाबिलिटी प्रोबाबिलिटी ऑफ ए ऑफ ए इज नथिंग बट पी ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू फॉर्म्यूला यू नो एन ऑफ ए डिवाइडेड बाय एन ऑफ यस ओके सो एन ऑफ ए इज हाउ मच एन ऑफ ए इज थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय एन ऑफ यस इज हाउ मच एन ऑफ एस इज नथिंग बट सिक्स सो थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री टू जा सो वन अ पॉइंट टू इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो द प्रोबाबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट ए इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ this only sample space only this sample space only we will utilize for this problem also or this condition also okay so we will write event b event b so that event b we will apply the condition number on the upper face is even so number on the upper face is even see the sample space sample space is this one so even numbers you have to write 2 4 and 6 2 4 and 6 okay i hope you understood so n of b is how much n of b is nothing but 1 2 3 so 3 is the n of b so probability of b you have to write probability of b so probability of b is nothing but p of b is equal to n of b divided by n of yes okay so n of b is how much n of b is nothing but 3 divided by n of s is nothing but already we are calculated n of s is 6 okay so 3 ones are 3 3 twos are it becomes 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 is nothing but 0.5 okay i hope you understood the concepts so this is the sol example first sol example that is the answer we are got next sol example we will discuss third one third one we will discuss a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of 52 playing cards so there are already we know there are 52 playing cards find the probability of each event so first we will write the word first we will write the sample space sample space we will write that sample space will come from 1 to 52 because there is a 52 cards 52 playing cards so we will write sample space is 1 2 3 4 up to how much 52 i hope you are understood so these are the 52 sample space we can write n of s is how much n of s is equal to 52 because you are there are 52 playing cards and you are taking one okay a card is drawn from a a card is drawn means you are drawing a single card you are taking a single card from a well shuffled 52 playing cards okay so that's why possibility you may select one card first card you may select second card you may select third card you may select 52 numbers card okay so possibility possibilities are how much 52 find the probability of each event the card drawn is a red card already you know event a is event a event a is what 
a red card a red card so if you drawn the whatever you drawn the card it is a red already you know in 52 cards in 52 cards 26 are red cards and 26 are black cards okay so you know this concept 22 are uh, 22 are 20 sorry 26 26 are the red cards and 26 are the black cards if you add you will get the 52 cards okay so n of a a red card means how many total red cards are 26 so in that you are selecting 26 times that is nothing but n of a is equal to 26 i hope you are understanding there are total 26 cards are there so you are selecting one card from this so you will possibility is how much 26 so probability of a is equal to n of a divided by n of s yes. i hope you are understanding n of a upon n of s yes. so n of a is how much n of a we are taken as n of a is nothing but 26 divided by n of s is nothing but 52 so 26 upon 26 twos are so it become 0.5 so probability you will get probability of a is n of a upon n of s so n of a is 26 upon 22 so it become 0.5 i hope you understood next term we will discuss a face card okay so face card when we want to discuss the face card so face card in red there are again to understand uh, the concept face card means what in red there are two groups one is the diamond and second one is the heart okay second one is the heart similarly in black cards again there is a two groups one is the spade and second one is the club okay already i shown the figure also you can if you are not understood you see the back Uh, first uh, this one video of this probability okay so you will understand in diamond again there is a king face cards means what this king queen and jack so these are known as the face cards okay so these are known as the face cards king queen and jack these are known as the face card again here heart also having the same concept that is the king queen and the jack okay these are known as the face card similarly spade is also having the king queen and jack and this this one club is also having also same king queen and jack okay i hope you are understanding now total how many possibilities are there how many face cards are there 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So total face cards are twelve are there. Okay, I hope you are understanding. Our n of s is how much? Here n of s is already there is a fifty-two. N of a uh, that is the b event is what b is event which is a face card. A face card. Okay, b is the event which is a face card so face card we can say that total n of b is how much n of b that is total n of b is 12 okay i hope you are understanding n of b is how 12 so i given the explanation here this explanation is not required to solve the in exams only you have to write n of s is 52 b is the event which is a face card a face card and n of b you have to write 12 okay so you require the probability here so probability of b so probability of b we can write as p of b is equal to p of b is equal to n of b divided by n of s yes. n of b is how much n of b is nothing but 12 divided by n of s is nothing but 52 so we can write 12 ones are 12 So sorry, twelve say no, it's not possible. Four, four threes are twelve. Four ones are four. Twelve again, four threes are. 
ओके सो थ्री अपॉन थर्टी थ्री सो पी ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच थ्री अपॉन थर्टीन थ्री अपॉन थर्टीन सो दिस इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दैट इवेंट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दैट इवेंट ओके फेस कार्ड मीन्स किंग क्वीन जैप ओके सो ऑल दिस यू शुड रिमेंबर आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द प्रॉब्लम 